ultimately we have to return the integer which actually will win the game again winning the game is winning for k consecutive rounds first one first the game ends when an integer any integer who for sure came in first and uh, uh, like won the k consecutive rounds he is the winner it is guaranteed that the answer will always be there now let's 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 just dry run this entire example no worries on okay we have this input i took the exact same input k is just saying if anyone anyone who is winning for two consecutive round states he is the winner so i will have the same input again i can only make the first and the second person participate in my game for sure who is more will actually stay at the zero index two was more will stay at the zero index which is actually itself one will actually go to the end cool so two stayed one went in the end now again i have to stop the game when anyone who is winning winning for two consecutive times now let's say the next game happens two and three again two and three will actually start seeing but three is more so three will win three will come at the zero index and the two will actually go in the end okay so you saw two was winning two win two won one game but now three won one game so basically the two's winning kind of it has gone to drain because i want consecutive k winnings okay cool three and five will be compared five is more five will stay at this location great um five won five locate uh, five stayed at this location and then three gone to the end five and four again four is less five is more five stayed here four went to the end you saw here also five won five score was one right again five score increased to two five won for two consecutive times so i can easily say that my five is the winner and that's the output itself but let's say the game would have continued and i would have asked you okay let me give like give me who is winning three consecutive times i can ask you anything right so the game will keep on continuing so one thing from now it is so far obvious for you is that uh, you will just try to keep on repeating this process until you will get k consecutive wins and that is problem is saying okay it's always possible to get the k consecutive wins but if we just look at the constraints k is actually very large so you can't just keep on iterating and keep on iterating and making all these pairs again and again so if we just go back uh, and continue to see what was happening was five and six come being compared six one cool uh, six came at this location five went to the end six and seven now being compared cool again six could not win seven being more one and land onto this location six went to the end seven and one being compared again uh, my seven will win one will go to the end again two the two will go to end three will go to the end five will go to the end and this process will keep on repeating so one thing for sure if i just ask you who won three consecutive times so you can just say okay six five won two consecutive times but then six starts winning but then the seven starts winning again the seven won again the seven won so i can just say that seven won three consecutive times so i mean i am one thing for sure i will not iterate on this entire k that's not possible so i have to find some trick whatsoever that i can just actually find because it is feasible array size i can iterate on it but i cannot iterate on all the case so can any way i can get this formula or anything like that what's the pattern like what's happening because if you just closely look at what was happening here was you were comparing these two elements and whosoever was small was going somewhere which means it was no longer here now you were comparing two and three okay whosoever smaller was uh, going now you were comparing three and five whosoever smaller was so you saw i'm just kind of moving on to the next element next element next element comparing with the previous maximum element that is what I, I, I was doing right if i just go back i had from here to here let's say if i start it is my previous maximum element is two compared with the current element it's more yeah it is more so now my maximum element is two again previous maximum is still at two current element is three so for sure now my previous maximum element is three now i'm at, the, at this index who is the maximum element five so i'll just say previous previous maximum element is five 
and again go on to the next index with this again previous maximum element is 5 again cool go on to next index but 5 will remain as it is again maximum element is 6 so previous maximum element will actually become 6 it will go on to next index maximum element is 7 it will simply keep on going i will actually here this maximum element is 7 so you saw that don't have to worry about moving it to the end just keep track of what is the current maximum element which i am having and for sure if i am having current maximum element as you saw i was comparing 2 and 3 uh, okay earlier the 2 was maximum but now the 3 has become maximum so 3 is time has started up and time start but then 5 became maximum so 5 time has started so 5 start for 5 time has started which means positive number of times how many times 5 has been coming it has coming for one time 5 again came so 5 time has increased now as soon as any one times increase by that amount k i am just very well sure i will get the answer so we can get one thing for sure i can just simply keep on iterating on my nums i know one thing that this replication of comparing two elements moving an element to end is just that getting the maximum element at each step and I, as soon as i update my maximum number which means if any number is becoming maximum so i'll just say okay now your consecutive iteration starts which means number of times you actually come consecutively i'll just increase your count okay cool i'll increase your count i'll increase your count oh another element come another another element came so i'll just say reset the count back and then keep on increasing the count now six was here again new element become became a higher element reset the count and then started again for this number seven again my seven was there cool increase the count but aryan uh, here itself i just ended and iterated on on ultimately all of my elements here itself i ended my entire array now you're actually going on again which means are you saying to actually trade more than n times with the previous concept which you showed i'm just actually trading on iterating n times on my entire array by just comparing every element and just keeping track of okay that element has been maximum for how many consecutive number of times but do i need to actually go on further also no why as soon as you will have landed onto the entire array you would have got one element as maximum so after after my n tries for sure the maximum element would have would have reached the starting and it will always remain in the starting because it is a maximum element so even if i compare with any element of this entire array still the seven will remain intact as it is and that's the entire crux as soon as the element ends still if let's say i was not able to complete my k consecutive turns my maximum element which is actually a number seven will always be the answer and that's ultimately what we have to do for this problem just keep on tracking um what is the maximum number you have got so far and as soon as you update a maximum number just reset the consecutive count um, back to zero and then keep on increasing consecutive count as you keep on maintaining that maximum number whatsoever you had ultimately you are just iterating on this entire array once time is o of n nothing extra space used space o of n o of one let's quickly code this up so uh, like as you saw that what we ultimately need is the answer which is the element which was like coming k consecutive times so for sure um we will just say initially our answer can be zero the next element now consecutive times that is the crux of this question that how many consecutive number of times that element came for us so initially i can just say that my consecutive is zero i have not got in because i've not compared anything right now so i'll just start off with the first index itself so i'll just say um i just go on to my entire um array starting from index one now for sure um if i'll just say okay if my current element if it's actually more than and for sure it is always more than it is never equal to because i have distinct elements if it's actually more than my answer which means i have got a new higher value so please make consecutive uh, back to a zero because i've got a new higher value and uh, you know i've got a new higher value so it's make it make it consecutive back to zero if 
or like even if it is back to zero or not if it is back to zero which means i have to for sure if i get a, if i have got a new higher value compared to a previous value which means i have got one of the uh you know that k round like one round was completed right in here so for sure any way whatsoever consecutive um you can just say just increase that consecutive count because for sure if it comes here which means my answer which is consecutive became zero i have got a new higher value simply okay you have got a new higher value which means you have done one round for sure you can just increase that what if rn it did not go here which means i don't encounter a higher value i encountered a slow, lower value still if you're encountering a lower value which means you are actually using that earlier previous higher value which means my higher value is consecutively occurring and as soon as it's occurring again so just increase the consecutive count and as soon as this consecutive count it reaches a k oh god i have reached my answer and my answer is nothing but this answer itself as simple as that and ultimately even if uh, my k is very large it never goes to this condition still as soon as my entire array ends my answer will keep track of the maximum number and that maximum number will always be the answer so let's quickly submit this and that should actually work yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching see you in the next video again goodbye take care bye bye